Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Eliza of Eliza Doodles and I'm an independent illustrator in the New Jersey, New York area. If you're already familiar with my videos, then you know I love to do this little segment in my vlogs called Arts and Chats, where I pick a topic that I feel like talking about that typically is aimed towards artists and I try to provide some helpful insight based on my own experiences about different issues that artists encounter in their work and life. And this video's topic is creating art for yourself and not for others. So I decided to make this video because I really just wanted an excuse to make art for the sake of making art. I'm giving a little bit more of an explanation to that. This year, I made a lot of art and I grew as an artist, but looking back at all the work I did, I noticed that most of it was created for the eyes of others. And when I say that, I don't mean that I didn't love the work myself because I wouldn't share my work if I didn't love it. I just ended up making work for the purpose of posting it and sharing it and not for the purpose of just making art. And I know I sound a little bit hypocritical right now because I am sharing this. However, I feel this is different and you can disagree with me, but I'm creating this video not for the purpose of a bunch of people seeing it, but I made this video more for myself as a reminder that is it, it's important to slow down and it's okay to make art for just you and not for other people. And that making art for the sake of making art is an extremely rewarding process because it allows you to create without any pressure. I've noticed in myself that when I have the purpose of creating art for social media, it kind of takes away the fun of creating art for me because I get all up in my head and I care about the piece being perfect and it just takes away the fun of making art. So being able to sit down and create this video without caring what anyone else thinks or how the piece comes out is really refreshing. It was nice to just make art for the sake of making art and not caring if it was perfect or not caring about it being quote unquote good. And not to get on a whole little tangent here, but what really qualifies good art from bad art? Because I have no idea. If you can tell me, that would be great. Because I personally think that if someone were to sit down and create something, that it just can't be bad. It might not be exactly the way you wanted it to turn out, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. On another note, it can also be hard to create art just for yourself because of social media's algorithm. Don't even get me started on social media's algorithm. I have had so many conversations with other artists and my friends who are artists and it's really just upsetting because it's a way so many people can create a living that's just being sabotaged and ruined, but okay, never mind. I won't get started on that. The point I was trying to make with this topic of conversation is that with the algorithm being just straight up crap, it can kind of make you want to create things that would be more popular. Which sounds silly, but I fall for it too. And I know there's probably a couple of you listening that can relate. But then I remind myself that it's just entirely silly to try to please some sort of, I don't know, AI electronic algorithm. And then I remind myself that I don't need to do that and it's more important to make art for myself. But with that being said, it can still be hard. So I created a small list of things that help me continue to find purpose in my art and continue to create for myself. 
The first piece of advice I have is to always be authentic to yourself and to your art. Say for example, there's some sort of popular trend or drawing that's going viral and you don't necessarily want to partake in it, but you feel pressure and the need to partake in it. If you feel that way, don't do it. Only create things that bring you joy and that you feel connected with and that'll help you have a better relationship with your art and the things you create. The next piece of advice I have is if you're going to compete with someone artistically, only compete with yourself. Do not compete with other people. Comparing your work to other people's will kill your motivation, it'll only make you feel bad about yourself, and it won't bring anything good. The only thing you can accomplish from competition is trying to improve your own work and improve your own art. The next piece of advice I have is to recognize all of your hard work. Sometimes you can get so caught up in creating that you forget all of the hard work that you've done and everything you've accomplished. So it's important to step back and practice gratitude and say, wow, I did a great job. Look at all these things I've created. Or, wow, I did a great job. Look, I'm halfway to where I want to be. Or, you know what I'm saying. The last piece of advice I have is to not be afraid of taking risks and failing. And the reason I say that is because I truly believe that you learn from every failure that you have. And if you don't take risks, you might miss out on something great in life that you didn't even know you could be good at. For example, uh, about a month and a half ago, I wanted to dip my toes into trying out animation and I was nervous because I'm not an animator, I've never animated anything before, but I used the small knowledge I had about it to just try and make something and it was worth it because I found something that I'm passionate about and if you have something that you're thinking about trying, I would say it's 100% worth taking the risk because even if you fail, it's just an opportunity to learn from and keep trying. That concludes this arts and chat session of the video. I hope it wasn't too ranty for you all and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. By the way, I didn't mention it, but I am currently crocheting a balaclava. It's very exciting.
everyone. I think this is the first time I'm talking to the camera in this video instead of doing a voiceover. Uh, yesterday, I continued to work on this balaclava. It took me hours. Um, this is where I'm at. Gotta add the neck now and the chin and I'm not using a pattern. I'm just sort of like freehanding it because I've seen a lot of balaclavas where it's a Sorry, that's Ben. Um, I've seen a lot of balaclavas where it's the big granny squares on every side, but I preferred the look of a smaller one, but I couldn't find a pattern for the smaller square, so I just decided to wing it and try to make my own. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'm really happy with it. It's been nice to slow down and just make some art. It's not very often where I don't make art for I don't want to say a monetary purpose, but for the purpose of it being posted. And I know I'm posting this, and even though I'm posting all this stuff, it's nice to make art just for the joy of making it, and not with a mindset of, oh, how many people are going to see this, or how many views can this get? It's refreshing to make art just for the joy of making it. I hope y'all don't mind. This has been a slower video. It's meant to be more of a gentle video rather than like a productive video. I'm not saying that productive videos can't be gentle, but I wanted to have something that was just kind of like felt like a hug to watch. You know what I mean? Yesterday was nice. I went to the beach and on a little nature walk with my mom. She found a really cool skull and I got to sit and just draw on the beach for a while. I only recorded one, but I was able to do a couple little sketchbook spreads and then my hands got cold, so we went home. So I think I'm gonna continue to work on this balaclava. I'd like to be able to finish it. There's a few more things that I wanted to make for myself. I wanted to work with clay a little bit, polymer clay and I wanted to paint on some canvases because I have not painted in canvases in forever. So I think it would be nice. I'm really comfortable with working digitally, but, I, but I'd like to dip my toes into more a tr traditional style of art where if I make a mistake, I can't just erase it. I have to keep working with it, so yeah. I hope you're all having a good day and I'm gonna start working on this balaclava now, so. Feel free to stay and hang out with me if you want to draw or crochet or whatever you like to do. You don't even have to do anything. You can just sit and hang out to take it easy. Hi everyone, it's a little bit later. I've been figuring out the neck for the balaclava and it's a lot more time consuming than I thought it was gonna be, but things with thin yarn are typically a little bit time consuming. Today's just pretty cloudy and it made me kind of nappy, so I <laughs> I stopped working on this and sort of like dozed off for a bit. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really feel inspired to finish this right now. I did all of this last night and my back still hurts from hunching over. So I think I'm gonna work on a piece of digital art. Something that I never draw, but that I'd like to step out of my comfort zone with is uh, people. I think it would be fun to do a self-portrait. Um, the new year's coming up, so I think I might draw a self-portrait instead right now. I'm gonna give my wrists a break. See how it turns out. everyone, voiceover Eliza is back. Today's a new day and today I decided to work with clay. I haven't worked with clay in almost a year and I missed it really bad because it was the medium that got me interested in making art in the first place so I wanted to revisit it and I hope to revisit it more in 2023 but anyway 
Today I made two little guinea pigs that I'm going to paint to be Ben and I also made two little poop poops to go with them. If you've ever had a guinea pig before, you know that they poop all the time, so that being the guinea pig's accessory makes a lot of sense, but I'm making one of these for me and one of these for my boyfriend Harrison and while those were baking, I decided to paint on a tiny canvas because another one of the things I wanted to do for myself was to paint and this canvas is actually going to my sister's rescued, I want to say lizard, no, bearded dragon Laszlo and I painted him a little portrait for his enclosure. I hope he likes it and yep, I think that concludes this voiceover. I'm gonna go now. Hi everyone, it's the next day now. After I finished filming, I drew a lot more in my sketchbook. And today, I'm gonna be painting these little guys, so that's what we're doing. And hopefully I can finish the balaclava. I've got my Wawa coffee. If you understand the craze behind Wawa, we can be friends. And if you don't, that's okay. We can still be friends. Hi. Hi everyone. I'm back in New Jersey now and it's quite a few days later. I almost just said welcome back because it's been that long since I filmed. It is the new year now and 
I'm preparing some fun stuff for you guys. Sorry if it's really loud outside. I am right next to a main road where lots of 18-wheeler trucks drive by. So if you can hear them, I am sorry. Anyway, I regret to inform you I did not finish the crochet balaclava yet. If you are someone who crochets as a hobby, you understand. It takes a long time to finish stuff and that took longer than I was anticipating. Hopefully by the next video I can have that finished for you guys. Right now, this isn't a part of this video, but I am painting and creating some more content just in general and I'm watching a new art vlog right now too, but I just came on here to say We've reached the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed making art with me. I had a lot of fun. It was really therapeutic to just slow down and just create without any pressure or no purpose. Well, not no purpose, but I guess with no pressure, with the purpose of fun. This is the end of my gentle video. I hope you enjoyed my arts and chats. Sometimes they feel a little bit rambly to me, almost like listening to a podcast. I hope you don't mind, I actually quite enjoy it. I guess leave a comment below if you guys liked it or if there's anything else you'd like to see or want me to include in these. I love feedback and I love, I, I love feedback because I love to improve what I create and if there's something I'm not doing that you guys would like, let me know. And if you want to see more of the things I make, my Instagram is linked down below at Eliza Doodles and I have a website if you guys want to check it out and learn a little bit about me, it's linked down below as well. And if you like this and like to see some more videos sort of like this by me, I have some more videos on my channel you can go check out. There will be some more exciting videos coming soon. I just finished my first sketchbook ever. I'm so proud of myself. I have never finished a sketchbook before and I'm really excited. So you guys will have a sketchbook tour video soon, which is very exciting. And I plan on doing a lot of in-person tabling events this year. At least I'm going to apply to a lot, so hopefully I can do some tabling event videos and how to prepare for them and let you guys know what I learned from the process. But yeah, very exciting things coming in 2023. And I'm gonna make a whole little 2023 video that'll be coming up soon. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And wherever you are, I hope you're taking it easy. I hope you're having a good day, evening, afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate all the support that you guys give me. So thank you. Until next time. Take it easy and bye friends.